Uncle Sam drafted me. In Vietnam, his job was to dispose of enemy personnel, to kill army. I finished the Rangers SF, or S, Ranger and SF selection. Okay, but but then never. when I caught my sex offender charge, I got kicked out. What, your entire time that you were in the army, did you ever work on any non-classified missions? Um, probably not. I mean, action, so I joined the army as a ranger, and then I went to SF, and then... And then I became, while I was in the military, I became Special Forces Green Beret for the United States Army. I recruited him, I trained him, I commanded him in Vietnam for three years. Now, before every Reddit warrior wanted to become a SEAL, they wanted to become a Green Beret. Remember the movie Rambo? It's good to hear your voice, Johnny. Been a long time. Young men wanted to be like Rambo, tough as nails. But can you spot the stolen Valor Village idiots that easy? Some of them are pretty well trained. Let's take a gander. Because Vietnam was the first integrated wall. First time that you didn't have no all black units, all Asian units. You had everybody together. And, and President Johnson to my surprise, he was gun ho civil rights, and he's a white <laughs> Texan, you know, congressman, and he wanted everything integrated. He wanted uh, blacks. It sure sounds good, but let me ask a question. Did President Johnson want it just because he was virtuous, or did we need bodies to go to Vietnam? What was the, What do you think really happened here? All in special forces. So anyway, so I was drafted into special forces. And so, um, so anyway, the lieutenant had my record. I'm not an expert on the draft in Vietnam, but I don't know that anybody got drafted for special forces. Maybe you got drafted, they determine what MOS, what job you're going to do. And if you're that kind of stud, maybe they dropped you into special forces. This seems a little bit out there, but I could be off. And he said, you know about covert operations? Yeah, because technically we didn't exist. We were like uh, James Bond. Yes, we were trained wow. like James Bond. James Bond. Our bosses in Vietnam was the CIA. But anyway, we didn't talk about... I'm picking up on a theme here. You always say the CIA and nobody can argue the point or even go, wow, I don't know anything about the CIA except what I've seen on TV. I've seen a little on TV. I guess a guy's got to be telling the truth, covert, special operations, right? It's all that off the book stuff you really don't know about. But I guess, you know, it's a thing, right? Where we went, you know, we went to places that we weren't supposed to be. And normally we didn't have no idea anything on us. But anyway, with that qualification, he said, I'm taking you downtown. 1964, Uncle Sam said, hey, Uncle Sam needs you now. And that was it. Next thing you know, I'm going into the military. You were wounded in Vietnam. Let's talk about that. Yes, it was um, a covert situation. We, It didn't exist. If we were playing a drinking game together, watching some of the Stolen Valor Village Idiot videos, every time you heard covert, you had to drink, you'd probably be hammered because there's a lot of covert stuff going on that none of us seem to know about, and all of a sudden they get injured, they're off the books. But do the real SF studs, like Tier 1 guys, do they use the word covert anymore? Do they just not bring it up or just... Don't get into this level of detail. Let me know. Ambush, uh, hit in the left leg, uh, twice in the left leg, and once in the right hip. After I got to Army Hospital and came home in uh, 66, the biggest thing that hurt me was wow. that we returned. There was no love. I mean, we didn't invent the Vietnam Wall. We didn't start the Vietnam Wall. We served our country, and really, we didn't have no choice. Special Forces at one point. I was with the Army. Well, what did you do in the Now, we all know Jeremy DeWitt, but hold on a second. Don't cut out. You probably haven't heard this audio. So he's being interviewed by the police department, and they're getting into his military, covert, CIA, off-the-books kind of stuff here. Army. I finished Rangers SF, or S Ranger and SF selection. Okay, but but then when I caught my sex offender charge, I got kicked out. Okay, so you never actually were tabbed to Special Forces or Ranger. I have my tabs. I was given my tabs. I was tabbed when I was training because I was with when I was in college ROTC, they sent me to those schools, and I graduated those schools. 
So you... I went to Ranger at Benning, and yes. So he got kicked out of SF Rangers because he's a pedo, but he's got the tab. He doesn't have the scroll, got the tab. Trying to keep up with Jeremy's logic here, and the even the cops going, I'm not getting this, bro. So you got kicked out, but you finished the training, but you got the tab, but you didn't get the tab. I'm confused. Just to check with the Department of Defense, that your DOD, DD-214 would say that you are... I have a DD-214. I was never... I was with ROTC only. I went to pre- programs there over summer and programs. what, high school? No, no, no. College. In college. Yeah. So but if the you... the first two years of college... I don't know a lot about ROTC, but if you go during the summer, you finish ranger school. I, I guess you could do it in the summer. Seems a little short time frame, but if you finish, do you get the tab and then you go to he's also a ranger or sf but he's in rotc this is a new one for me help me understand it's rotc you're not required to swear or you don't swear so you're really telling me oh, what, and no, I, no, no, listen it is a department of defense school i'm a former major in the army okay i'm telling you right now if i checked you with the department of defense they that's an inconvenient situation. He's dealing with the police officer that's a former major in the Army, so he can smell the bullshit coming out of Jeremy's mouth. He's like going, listen, I don't get it. I know you're an ROTC, but you went to all these schools. You got kicked out for being a ped. But you got the scroll. You got the tab, but you didn't get either, but you did. I, you know, follow me. I'm, I'm, I'm lost. Everybody has to be manifest or rostered in any class. You're telling me, in fact, you were, in fact, in SF school. No, Robin, Sa- Rob- Robin Sage and Ra- Ranger School. Ranger School at Fort Bennett. And you completed how long is Ranger School? It's, well, the school that we went to is eight weeks. Eight weeks. Yes. Mm-hmm. When was this? Oh, my God. This was like summer of... Because I don't want you to get caught with stolen valor situation now. No. This was summer of... Now, why would he go down this path with a police officer? He's already busted for being a cop faker, being a ped, parole violation. But all of a sudden, he's with the cop. What's the upside here of saying, listen, I'm a Green Beret, Army SF. I went to Ranger School, got all this stuff. And the guy says, listen, I was a major in the Army. I get how this works a little bit. But he just keeps going. He, he's not stopping. The weird thing is, is that you think, you know, yeah, I served as a cop. And then I served for 12 years in the U.S. Army as a major. Okay. So, so the story is pretty good here. Doesn't have a DD-214 because he was never in the military, just ROTC. But here in this one, before he got arrested, before what you just saw, and then he's like, listen, bro, I was a major, 12 years in the Army, jumped into Ramadi. I think we'll get to that, but stand by. You don't need to worry about who I am. Are you clear yeah. for that? He owns this business. Are you clear for that? Don't you love it? Are you clear to talk about this with me? I'm a rent-a-cop, a mall cop, but all of a sudden he thinks he's in some kind of super secret squirrel top secret discussion on the streets of Tampa somewhere. I'm I'm missing this. Are you cleared for that comment? What's your GS level? Because I know what my military level was. Sure. My classification. Okay, we don't need to go. Okay, great. Okay. Are you an officer? No, I'm not. But I work for customs and food thirty five years. Yeah. 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 My bad. Yeah. Somewhat. Yeah. Are you a federal agent? I'm a federal. I'm a federal employee. Okay. Yeah. Step aside. Thank you. I've been around a lot of guys with varying degrees of military career success. I was just staying at a Navy base campground. No one came to me. I go through the gate, give them my card, my DOD card. No one says, hey, bro, what you do? What's your level of experience? You just go in through the gate. No one talks like this. I'm around all sorts of guys that are retired after decades. I'm trying to see what army Jeremy was in because I've never experienced that army. I was young and dumb, and I wanted action, so I joined the Army as a Ranger, and then I went to SF, and then... What well, branch of the military were you in? Army. Army? So was I. Where were you stationed? I was Benning, and then I was Bragg. Uh, I was originally a Ranger, 3rd Battalion, out of Benning, and then I was 3rd Group out of Bragg. Wow. Yeah. Well, thank you for your service. Thank you. What do you do? I was, uh, <laughs> I had a lot of MLSs. I was 31B20, which was... Com- cop should say, hey, Mr. DeWitt, I was a cook in the Army. After I transferred from supply, I was into the hardcore shit, bro. See what Jeremy says on that one. Communications, and then I was 16F Foxtrot, which was the M42 Duster. That's why I wear the hearing aids. I was on that more than anything. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, that was uh, definitely probably uh, different times, different times. 
He's like, that was uh, uh, different times, different times, bro. I don't even know what the hell you're talking about. You caught me. How do I get out of this as quickly as possible? Yeah, I was 18 series, so I was 18 MOS, so my last, my last six and a half years, seven years almost. Wow. So, so you jumped. Oh, yeah, I was, I, oh, yeah, I've been jump certified since I was 18. Wow. That's why I left the Army. I had a streamer. Uh, my riser popped when I was going into Malaysia. Basically, almost destroyed my back to the point where I can't even... Now, I don't know if anybody jumped into Fallujah, but apparently Jeremy, probably on one of those covert, off-the-book CIA deals, he probably jumped in, hurt his back. You know, since it's off the record, he didn't get any sort of compensation or nobody fixed him. I think that's what happened. Off-the-book stuff, I really don't know. Have to ask one of the super secret squirrel types. They do things that just, like you go in black. Right. You know, Special operations. 